Hey everyone, I'm Trevor and today we are at Disneyland for Rogue Chomp. I know it doesn't look like it behind me because I literally forgot to film it earlier, but we're gonna share with you the best tips to have the best day at Disneyland at Rope Drop. So let's get going. We showed up for a rope drop this morning at Disneyland and we thought we'd do a little bit earlier than normal. Usually we get here around 7.45. It's 7.28. I thought they opened the gates at 7.30, but the line has already pretty much dissipated. So uh, you may have to show up even earlier than 7.30 if you wanna be at the front, front, front of the rope drop line. As we enter the hub here for Disneyland, there's a couple of places of note that we've got uh, over here, some people lining up. They are headed to Indiana Jones over there in Adventureland. You've got this big, massive crowd of people over here crowding in front of Frontierland. Believe it or not, they're not headed to Frontierland at all. <laughs> they're headed to Rise of the Resistance. And straight ahead, we have some people who are gonna aim for the castle and they're gonna wanna go to Peter Pan. Also over here, the people more towards the left are probably still heading for Peter Pan, but then a good chunk of these people are gonna be heading up to Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway in Toontown. And then over here off to the right-hand side of this line are people headed towards Space Mountain, which is the portion of the line that we are going to choose to join right now. You'll see guests on the other side of the road walking by. What are those guests? They're early entry hotel guests. Our strategy this morning is to head straight to Space Mountain. Space Mountain is one of the rides that everybody goes to, but it is the fastest moving and the one with the shortest amount of wait. Even if you're not at the front of the rope drop line, we've been, we've been at the back of the rope drop line and only waited 13 minutes for Space Mountain. It beats headed to Indiana Jones, which is gonna instantly be 45 minutes and you're gonna lose the whole golden hour being stuck in line for Indiana Jones. So, space is better. I should also add that for lightning lanes right now. There are still lightning lanes available for Space Mountain at eight o'clock, <laughs> which it is right now, which means that people aren't really booking Space Mountain lightning lanes. But Indiana Jones is up past 9 a.m. already, which means that there will be constant lightning lanes the entire hour for the golden hour if you rope drop Indiana Jones. We got here really early this morning. We were in the park by 7.30. We could have theoretically rope dropped Rise of the Resistance, popular ride. However, that ride frequently breaks down. I mean, super frequently. It's better to pay for that ride, get a pass to go ride it later, than to risk getting in line and losing the whole entire golden hour. And if it breaks, and you have a fast pass for it or a lightning lane for it, multi-experience. Yeah, they'll just let you ride it again later um, if it breaks down or use that for some other ride. Yep. We are currently rope dropping Space Mountain and literally walked straight into the loading room. We just got off Space Mountain. And so we're looking at what's the next ride that we should do? Because it's only 8.15 in the morning. And that included walking through that enormous line and then riding the ride. Um, I was thinking let's do Matterhorn because Matterhorn is going to be the line that's going to get the longest, quickest. But it's closed right now. So then I thought, well, why don't we go do Big Thunder? But because today's the first day it's reopened since it's like two-week refurb, the people who haven't been able to ride it on their vacation so far all went there first. So it's at 20 minutes instantly. Usually it's around 10 to 15 for the first two hours in the morning. My next thought was, okay, Pirates and Haunted Mansion are two rides that we should check out. But Haunted Mansion's closed. <laughs> and then Amy was like, well, we're right here in Tomorrowland. Let's How about Buzz Lightyear? It's but closed. it's closed. So... <laughs> We're encountering the same problem we did at DCA earlier this week, if you saw our DCA stand, uh, rope trap video. And that is that just a lot of attractions are closed first thing in the morning. They're not supposed to be, but you know, I mean, I guess it's I guess it's better than the park opening at 9 a.m. So, you know, I'm not gonna complain. We're, 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 we're fine with it. We're oh yeah, absolutely. Let's go check out Big Thunder and poke at the line and see if it is 20 minutes yeah. or not. Yeah, by the time we got to Big Thunder, it's now a 35 minute wait and the line is actually out of the, the queue, which is really, really strange. I'm telling you, that is not normal. It is just because today is the first day that Big Thunder has reopened from its two week refurb. That's That could be the only explanation. I've been tracking wait times for two weeks and it has never gone above 20 minutes before 10 a.m. the last like two weeks I've been checking. So that's 
totally out of the ordinary. Some morning magic here. <laughs> the whole crew. <laughs> Even Chip and Dale. <laughs> Amy likes this. <laughs> you usually only see them do like one of them, not the, the whole, whole crew. entire crew. Well, this line has a potential to get to an hour. 45 minutes is more usual, but uh, it's a walk on at this time of the morning. So this is when we're going to do it. The goal for your rope drop is going to be to visit rides that have higher wait times later in the day, but are five to 10 minutes at most first thing in the morning between eight and nine, which means to avoid rides like Winnie the Pooh because that ride maxes out at about 25 minutes. There's no reason to, to waste time on that at rope drop. Uh, same thing with things like Pinocchio's Daring Journey or, or whatever else up there in Fantasyland. Uh, it's just not going to be worth it for you. Uh, so Pirates of the Caribbean, Haunted Mansion, Big Thunder Mountain, uh, Matterhorn Bobsleds, these are the rides that you're going to want to target first thing in the morning. And this one definitely is a literal walk on. Back row, back row. <laughs> Look at this. They got like two empty rows in front of us. Oh, uh, okay, never mind. I thought we were about to have like one cozy corner. We managed to snag a reservation for Blue Bayou on June 5th. I'm excited to come here again. It'll be the first time since like 2012. We just got off Pirates of the Caribbean and it is 8.40 in the morning. Uh, Matterhorn's back open. It's a 10 minute wait now though, yeah. which isn't bad. I mean, no, I highly bad. considered doing that until I saw the Big Thunder's back down to a five, five. minute wait. What? So apparently everyone literally did just rush there at Rope Drop because it's been closed. <laughs> and then and, it dissipated. And now it's back to its normal crowds. Because yeah, that ride <laughs> loads super super fast. It does. It's like space. Actually it's fast. It can fit 30 people on either side. So yeah. 60 people roughly every like 45 seconds yeah. to a minute. <laughs> uh, so yeah we're we're gonna go do Big Thunder then um, talk about what we're doing after that. So then we're both really hungry because we have not eaten breakfast and we woke up at five o'clock this morning. So we are going to Jolly Holiday to get a cinnamon roll. We want to start trying to find different snacks. I love the sea shanties. Sorry, go ahead. Um, anyway. <laughs> Easily distracted by fire. Easily distracted. Squirrel! Yeah. Um, that didn't make me lose my turn at all. Anyway, we are trying to see if there's different snacks around the park that we have not tried. We tend to always get the same ones just because we love them so much. I'm already planning for my 2024 food video. Just yeah. trying to get all these different so footage. So we have ordered a cinnamon roll from Jolly Holiday Bakery that we're going to get soon because we are just not hungry. Yep. Here we go. Big Thunder Mountain Railroad. Five minutes. I should have probably said that Haunted Mansion is still closed. Just for your information. So this looks a little longer than five. I'd put it between 10 to 15. And it's been eight minutes. So yeah, a little bit longer than five, but um, that's why it still says five because it's not over 10. And that line right there is the standby line going out the queue again through the front entrance. So a lot of times rope dropping just comes down to being mindful of the app and knowing what wait times might go low or high and just also being lucky sometimes too. Fifty-nine, and we did it. Yay! Three rides done in the first hour. That's always my goal with a and, rope drop. And big rides. Too. And big rides, yeah. Uh, popular rides that'll have long ways later in the day. My goal is going to be that later on in the day, I'm going to take a look and see what those wait times are, and then provide you with a total tally of the amount of time we saved by rope dropping those three rides. Already, it's back up to a 25-minute wait. It's time for Jolly Holiday Bakery Cafe for a snack. Here we go, cinnamon roll from Jolly Holiday Bakery. So excited to try this out. It looks really, really good. It's good. It looks good. It's good. Here we go. Mmm. Mmm. 
that icing is amazing. A little crunchy along the outside. I'm hoping that as we get more towards the center, it'll be nice and ooey gooey in the center. Icing, the icing is phenomenal. Wow, 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 wow. That was a good cinnamon roll. It still had parts that were a little tough. You know, like borderline stale. They're, they're kind of, not quite crunchy. I wouldn't call it overcooked, but like I said, just close to that like stale level. Um, when you bite into it, it's like, oh, was this previously frozen before? You know, that sort of question. Um, so it could be better, but wow, the icing adds all the flavor and that was amazing. It was, it was, it was really good. If you're enjoying this video, please hit the like and subscribe button for more Disneyland content. I cover vlogs, food reviews, and tips videos all here at Disneyland. It is 10 o'clock, which is typically what I would consider the end of rope drop for the morning. But I wanted to share one last thing. <laughs> Rise of the resistance down to a 45 minute wait. That's, that's insane. That's, that's hope. So that's hope. The last time I tried riding this, it turned into almost two hours because it broke down. Yeah. So we'll see. I did take a look at wait times. I just wanted to scroll the wait times for you and, you know, see how the morning rope drop was going. I did see that a lot of the rides were up to 20 to 25 minute waits, which honestly isn't bad. We're, we're at the tail end of spring break. Uh, it is still like a tier five ticket day today, but uh, I think it is such at the tail end that the crowds are lower. I'm just crossing my fingers that they're pretty low here today. Uh, and the wait times look pretty good. There's still a couple of five to 10 minute waits floating around here or there, but um, things are starting to get a little busier. So happy we found Rise. As I previously mentioned, a lot of rope drop comes down to keeping your eye on the wait times map and hopping in line at the ideal opportune moment because everyone else is gonna see 45 minutes and within 20 minutes, this is probably going to be back up to about a 75 minute wait, if I had to guess. And uh, here's where we are currently, just entering the caves. So we'll see how long it takes. We've been in line for 13 minutes, and yep, the standby wait went up to 75, just like I predicted. We have arrived here at the Ray Room after 25 minutes. We'll keep timing it to see how long it takes to actually get on the attraction. But to the Ray Room is 25 minutes, not bad. Ship is under the control of the first order. You'll disembark immediately and head into interrogation. I love this room. First time I've seen the hallways on the Star Destroyer all backed up. 39 minutes to the final pre-show. So pretty close to 45 from start to finish. You know the location of the secret base, and I will take it from you. The best strategy for rope drop, as with Disney California Adventure, is going to be to avoid the most popular attractions and instead ride some of the smaller rides as you saw us do. And those most popular attractions are going to be the individual Lightning Lane rides, like Rise of the Resistance and Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. People often ask me, well, if I'm not supposed to rope drop them, when is the best time to ride them? I have found that between the hours of 9 and 10, you'll actually find lower standby weights on both of those attractions. About 8 out of 10 times uh, between the hours of 9 and 10 than you will on rope dropping because a lot of people go there and then it sort of dies down a little bit until more people start to get in the park and then they build back up after 10. We rode Rise of the Resistance at 10 and it was that 45 minute wait. So that's what I would recommend doing ideally rather than wasting the golden hour. Uh, instead, go between nine and 10 for lower wait times than even a rope drop. It's 1.40 in the afternoon now and I just wanted to check in for you guys to show you what the wait times are like. Space Mountain is a 45 minute wait. Big Thunder is a 55 minute wait. And Pirates of the Caribbean is a 10 minute wait. I've seen days where it has gotten uh, 45 to 60 minute waits. Today, it's not happening. But um, we did because we literally walked on Space Mountain and it was eight minutes for Big Thunder right there. Uh, we saved 
an hour and a half easily on those two attractions by rope dropping them as opposed to you know waiting later on in the day to ride them i didn't genie plus them i didn't you know anything like that i just i saved an hour and a half of time just by going there first now if i had gone to rise the resistance first i think it was like a 75 minute wait right away and i would have not been able to ride those rides until you know later on in the day when they had higher weights so it really is beneficial to go to some of the rides that can get hour long waits later on in the day but they're five to ten minutes first thing in the morning that's the strategy for rope drop uh, don't go where everyone else is going go to where they're going to be going in a couple of hours but they're not going right now we're not in Disneyland at the moment, but the thought just occurred to me. Some people probably want to know, you know, why we didn't rope drop Fantasyland, because a lot of the Fantasyland rides get really, really busy a little bit later on in the afternoon, too. Uh, we have done that in the past. We were trying to hit the big, you know, like e-ticket attractions. Uh, but if you want to know what to do in Fantasyland, besides Peter Pan, because uh, Peter Pan is going to be a 35 to 40 minute wait at rope drop. It's going to be that all day long. There's really no point in rope dropping Peter Pan. You can just literally ride it whenever. I recommend rope dropping Alice in Wonderland. That ride can also get 40 minute waits throughout the day sometimes. And it's usually pretty manageable first thing in the morning. So if you absolutely think that you want to um, rope drop Fantasyland, you can hit Alice in Wonderland and then hopefully Matterhorn will be open. Matterhorn's technically a Fantasyland ride. You can hit that one as well. And then really just mill around any of the other Fantasyland rides. They can all get pretty lengthy waits throughout the day. Mr. Toad's Wild Ride, uh, Storybook Land, Canal Boats, Casey Jr. Circus Train, and Snow White's Enchanted Wish. Though really none of them will ex exceed past 30 minutes or so. So really there are other rides throughout the park that are better spent for rope drop that, you know, get closer to 45 to 60 minute waits instead of just the, the little 20 to 30 minute wait rides. Well, that's it for our time here today at Rope Drop at Disneyland. If you have any questions that I didn't answer or you want specific advice for your Rope Drop situation, go ahead and drop them in the comments below. Hit the like and subscribe button for more Disneyland content. Click this video to keep watching and we will see you again next time.